Greetings, saints of God. This is your brother Chris coming to you with another video. It's been a while, but I'm back again. As you can see to the left of the screen, it's titled Built Upon the Foundation of the Holy Apostles. Now, to the right, you'll see that we actually also updated the name of our um, organization. It says Today with Chris and Don. And we opened the House of Prayer, Education, and Worship Center. Yeah, here's a more updated picture of me. Um, I, I think my work speaks for me, but it's not my work. It's the Lord work through me as far as interpreting scripture. My name is Christopher Collier, and the Lord gave me this vision to start the ministry that we're doing me and my wife Dawn our last name is Collier you guys can look us up on the web uh, via Facebook and YouTube yes and we currently teach out of this book every Thursday 10 p 10 a.m. to noon and 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. this book was written by Miss Patricia B.O. Gru Gruitz. It's entitled Understanding God, a guide to developing a personal relationship with God. You all are welcome to study with us. We meet on Messenger and everyone mutes their phone. You don't have to turn your camera on and you can text us in under that video in Messenger and we will acknowledge your texts and questions and we have more instructions but if you guys want to join us you have to messenger us and let us know here's a picture of my lovely wife Dawn for those of you who are curious this is what our Facebook post picture looks like Yeah, and this is what our uh, YouTube page uh, looks like. And look, we have only 31 subscribers as of 2-9-2022. I'll be sure to post the links under this video for anyone who wants to subscribe and join us. Yeah, and what you're seeing here is our Facebook page. Here is our Facebook page. As you can see, we have currently 111 members and climbing. Let, let's click on this and see what's on the page. Well, as you can see, this says, does the church still need apostles and prophets this is a book by Jim Thomas this is a good book I'm yet to read it but I did see his uh, table of contents and I like what I saw also we'll post things like videos to help you guys like five biblical foods you should eat daily best healing foods from the Bible and I always post the scripture John 3 I mean 3rd John uh, 1 and 2 beloved I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers I also posted the, the master's healing touch by pastor Benny Hinn ministries this instrumental has helped me throughout the years to keep evil um, spirits away from my home negative energy away and as you can see I said we are here to help play this album in your homes and auto everywhere you go to keep negative energy away but do pray read the word and you would have to click on it and see the rest yep without further ado let's get into the teaching today this is Ephesians chapter 2 starting at verse 19 which reads 
Now therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being a chief cornerstone. Yeah, according to the image you see to the right is basically telling the answer. The foundation has already been laid. Over to the left of your screen you will see 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 9 downward. Let's see what Paul had to say concerning this. And it is written, For we are laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. You are God's building. According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he build thereon, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide or remains, which he has built there upon, he shall receive a reward. But if any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Yes, in a minute, I'm going to go back over that scripture and explain some key points. But I'm showing you guys these images for a reason. You all should know what that means. That's a slab, you know, that's a foundation. And if you're going to build a house, as you see the one in, on the left, if you're going to start building a house, you got to have a firm foundation. And that's the key to understanding the mystery behind the truth of this teaching. That's why it's, said, it's titled, Built Upon the Foundation. So the foundation has already been laid. And we're going to show you that there shouldn't be any more apostles, that they did their job. And now Paul explains everyone just have to be careful how they build upon the foundation of the prophets also and the apostles. So let's go and explain that scripture. Okay, let's go back over Ephesians 2, uh, 19, and um, I'm going to read out of the Amplified version, so if you guys have an Amplified, you can keep up that way or watch the video. Um, here in verse 19, it's, Paul says, So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, outsiders, without rights of citizenship, but you are fellow citizens with the saints, God's people, and are members of God's household, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. So here um, Paul made it known to the Gentiles what's going on. And I'm going to highlight that one. And it's very important that if they had to understand this, it's important for us to understand this as well. And it, it is said again, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. That is so important. That's a really good key thing to remember as we move on yeah <clears throat> and being directed by the Lord he wanted me to stop this teaching and let you all know who, who are viewing this 
that if you're not spiritually minded, if you have not been converted according to the scripture you're seeing, um, and I'm going to read it, then you can't understand this teaching. So I would uh, advise you all to get converted. Let's see what it says. The Lord Jesus says, For the hearts of this people have grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, Unless they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them. Now, in another version, that reads different. Let's go to the uh, KJV. It says, For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted see that word converted and i should heal them so you guys got to be converted and the lord has to heal you for you to be able to understand spiritual teachings i just want you all to know that and the lord brought to my mind oil and water oil and water don't mix if you're trying to understand spiritual stuff not being converted is like that <clears throat> okay let's go back to ephesians chapter 2 this is kjv notice i have highlighted uh, verse 20 it says and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. I want to focus on the word foundation. Let's always focus on foundation, seeing I showed you guys those images of a foundation. Okay, this is what I put in my notes. The key word a foundation explains how a house is built. First you pour the foundation, make it firm, then you proceed to build upon it. Paul boldly says in 1 Corinthians 3 and 10, I laid a foundation. So let's turn to 1 Corinthians 3 and 10. Okay, let's go above it. Verse 9. For we are laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. You are God's building. Verse 10. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation. Let's just stop there. Paul said, I have laid the foundation. Paul said, I have laid the foundation. Yes, that's a key point to uh, remember. The foundation has already been laid. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say that for that to cause a light bulb to go off in somebody's mind see that foundation in this image Paul said I have laid the foundation now he does say and another builds or continues to build thereon but let every man take heed how he builds build thereupon or continues to build thereupon but please know the foundation is already laid to end the argument quick I want to ask this question is there another cornerstone no will there ever come another chief cornerstone no 
So seeing we all can agree upon that, I have another question. Who's shown here in the scripture to be connected to him? You guessed it. The prophets and the apostles of old. Because here again, Paul says, I laid a foundation. Is another Paul coming or another foundation coming? I want you guys to honestly ask that, answer that question. Is another Paul coming or another foundation coming to be laid? Okay, put Revelations chapter 11 in your notes and 18. I'm just going to focus on this one verse to show a point about the prophets and let's read it it says and the nations were angry and your wrath is come and they're talking about the ancient of days and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that you should give reward unto your servants the prophets and to the saints and to them that fear your name small and great and should destroy them which is destroying the earth so the key thing to see here is that he's now getting ready to give reward unto his servants the prophets those foundational prophets Okay, now let's look at the apostles. Because the reason I showed you the prophets, now I'm showing you apostles. Because the father has 12, the prophets, on his side in the throne. And the Lord Jesus Christ has his 12 on his side in the throne. Which equals 24 elders. So let's look at. Luke chapter 6 verses 13 downward it says and when it was day he Jesus called unto his disciples and of them he chose 12 whom also he named apostles let me highlight that he chose 12 whom also he named apostles And if you guys read more down, it'll start listing their names. Yeah, because in Matthew chapter 19, verse 28, it says, You who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, um... Okay, now I'm going to show you some modern day advertisements about apostles. So here we see we have a three day seminar. It's called the School of Apostles. And they want you to contact them. It's kind of blurry, but I'm only making a point. Okay, here we have another advertisement by Shalom Leadership and Bible Institute South Africa let's take a look at who's on this poster here okay we got Apostle Kingsley Apostle Boniface Apostle Charles Adigi I don't know if I'm saying her names right Apostle Emmanuel I can't pronounce it so I'm just trying to show a point here yeah this is actually someone posted this on social media Dr. Juanita Bynum is being called out for engaging with two alleged false prophets from Africa uh, let's blow this image up to read their names Okay, we got 
Prophet Jeremiah, Madame B. B. H. E. Ambassador, Hubert Angel, Prophet Shepherd, Gushari, Prophetess Mary, and we got a Dr. Juanita Bynum. She goes by Doctor. And then there's a Bishop Clarence. And here they have a. Let's see what this is. 14 days of intense prayers. The grand finale, they call it. Yeah, and we have um, a recent apostle, a lady apostle, Apostle Catherine Crick, who I want to meet with her. I want to actually let the Lord talk through me to her and tell her she should be an evangelist. I don't have anything against lady evangelists because the Lord used three lady evangelists to get me born again. If it had not been for those three ladies I would not be saved and last but not least we have uh, Apostle Thomas the picture's kind of blurry and I'm only showing all of these to make a point okay here it says the Church of Jesus Christ Iconic photos of prophets and apostles in Rome testify of Christ. Yeah, and then I saw an advertisement saying raising up next generation apostles and prophets. And then I um, went on Google to find out about all the jewels that's in the new Jerusalem and I put the names of the apostles the Lord chose on everyone Paul is at the bottom because he was one born out of due time he said okay next I'm gonna read Revelations chapter 21 verses 14 but I'm gonna read 13 and come down to it and it reads on the east three gates on the north three gates on the south three gates and on the west three gates verse 14 and the wall of the city had twelve foundations and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb That is the question the good Lord wants to pose to anyone who feel they're being raised up to be the next generation apostle and prophets. Is your name on one of those foundations? Think about it. Yeah, I'm about to wrap this uh, video up. There will be a part two. Pray for me. And stay tuned for part two. Uh, so we can break the myth. The, uh, we're going to make this series a myth-busting message. And if you like what you're hearing, you know, please, I uh, want you to like the video and uh, share it. If you want to subscribe, that's up to you. Last but not least, uh, let's look at Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. And Jesus said unto them, meaning his disciples, which were named apostles that you see over to the right. Verily I say unto you that you which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory you also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel so this is a good key scripture to know about those twelve that's with the Lord Jesus right now judging all of us 
Okay, let's turn to Ephesians chapter 4, verses 10 downward. It says, He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might feel all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers and it goes on to say for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ most people will use this scripture and say that's why we need new apostles but I want to correct that and say that's why we need the Holy Spirit and that's what I feel is happening today the Lord is using his Holy Spirit through me to talk to all of you I have more other doctrine false doctrine correcting messages so we don't need another apostle I already showed you from what you previously saw we're now in the age of the Holy Spirit Yeah, and in this um, verse 11, I want to emphasize on some. See how it keeps saying he gave some, he gave some, he gave some. Wouldn't it, shouldn't it say he gave all? He gave all. So really think about that. Yeah, let me explain why, why I said we're in the age of the Holy Spirit. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 starting at 7 downward I'm going to go in the amplified version so it will be very clear and it reads but to each one is given the manifestation of the spirit the spiritual illumination and the enabling of the Holy Spirit for the common good to one is given through the Holy Spirit the power to speak the message of wisdom and to another the power to express the word of knowledge and understanding according to the same spirit to another wonder working wow faith is given by the same Holy Spirit and to another the extraordinary gifts of healing by the one spirit and to another the working of miracles and to another prophecy foretelling the future speaking a new message from God to the people and to another discerning of spirits the ability to distinguish sound doc uh, sound godly doctrine from the deceptive doctrine of man-made religions and cults to another various kinds of unknown tongues and to another interpretation of the tongues all these things the gifts the achievements the abilities the empowering are brought about by one and the same Holy Spirit distributing to each one individually just as he chooses so this last verse here the Holy Spirit chooses who he wants to do what is his choice we are in the age of the Holy Spirit my friends I hope this is bringing clarity to you as I am, I'm ending this video you guys the Lord put it on my heart to put this in this video because we got to pray we got to humble ourselves turn from our wicked ways just like the scripture says um, we got to seek the Lord we we got to I got Luke chapter 13 posted because the Lord said post this tell them he said right here I tell you no but unless you repent change your old 
way of thinking turn from your sinful ways and live changed lives you will all likewise perish and that's a strong word the lord is not he's not playing games you guys uh warnings have went out to countless people and they gotta get it right i don't want to see nobody's downfall trust me i'm a loving person me and my wife we're trying to help help all of you i i my prayer is that if somebody's watching this send this out to somebody let it go viral come on help them don't be that way don't look at people and wait for them to perish and and burn for eternity pray for them pray for them pray for them so let's let's um let's do this uh saints if you're a true saint you must have the heart of christ and that's to pray and to love them that they don't fall under this condemnation that they're under and the blindness that they are under ladies and gentlemen you have heard brother christopher collier with my wife dawn collier and this message message was entitled built upon the foundation of the holy apostles let us pray at this point blessed father thank you thank you for this uh, revelation knowledge father i pray that whosoever will hear it let them hear it father i know there will be people who will refute it because your word says you have many adversaries father so father i just pray that for those that will hear it let them hear it and let them uh, pray for myself and dawn and pray for all those who are getting pulled into lies and deception let them not just be looking on it waiting for you to judge them but to pray for them in hopes that some of them will come out from under it lord father we just pray that you have mercy on all of us um, because we're not uh, without fault there's things we have little small little sins that we commit and if you was to surface them you know nobody is uh, right in your sight but only you look at we're covered in the blood of your son lord jesus and we are forgiven but you did say lord if we confess our sins and forsake the sins we will have mercy so father have mercy on us have mercy on us oh father uh, i pray father you take this message and let it uh, be put out and go viral father by you and not by man put it on each person's heart that really cares and love your your glorious church father to spread this message father it may not be uh, put together in perfection but the message is here and the message is clear and for you who are in leadership or you you have a famous name uh, the Lord told us not to judge anybody from the outward appearance or by the way they talk because it is written that Paul came and they said his bodily appearance is weak and his speech is contemptible it, it wasn't so eloquent and you know uh, the the scripture says that the Lord chose the the weaker things to confound that which is mighty so you you all should know this word of God and I pray father that they all get into the right doctrine and that they repent truly and throw away everything that they learned from whoever they were sitting up under whatever um, theologian what whatever um, college they went to Bible college father I pray that they will repent and just get all that leaven out because the leaven has leavened the whole lump Lord and they need to repent and let you wash them Lord and cleanse them and they need to humble themselves father humble them Lord give them dreams and visions do what you can do father to reach them this we all pray in the name of your holy child Lord Jesus believing you are going to respond and you're even responding right now because of your great love in Jesus mighty name we pray and agree amen amen all who agree said amen
Okay, this is uh, Brother Chris, your brother in the Lord. We are a body. That's my wife, Don, on a picture. Um, today with Chris and Don, we opened the House of Prayer Education and Worship Center. The Lord gave this to us. He said, my house shall be called the House of Prayer. And he said, the time is now where the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And in saying that, I say shalom. God bless.